Mega high! <laughs> Mega high de ho! Uh, that's always what I want to hear. Princess, the palace is under siege! Under siege! Uh, Okay, so for anyone that keeps bitchy, and we just did pixels a second ago, and for anyone that keeps bitchy, it's like, oh, this killed video games, this killed blah blah blah. No. You did not live through Captain N, the gay mess. <laughs> not, not only were, like, does this have, like, so little to do with the video games that we grew up with, but we were excited to see this show. We were just aware what Mega Man and Kid Icarus, I wonder what they're gonna do today. Uh, because we Mega just Man. had nothing else. That's not Simon Belmont. No, not That's even it. close. But we just had nothing else. Mother Brain! Mother Brain! Brain. Get to what princess. the fuck? <laughs> that was like... <laughs> that was like the plan from Little Chap of Horrors. Um, it... I, I what a show. It, now, I, I, it, I it's mean, now so, none of this could get away with it because everything has to be exactly so precise and everything. Uh, but again, for so something... I will say, this, like, when people ask us what's nostalgic to us, I realize we got a lot of millennials and younger people watching the show. This is yeah. our childhood. No, I remember every Captain Saturday M, morning, I, would, I, I turn it on, I get excited to see, you know, is, is Mario going to pop up in this one? And that is kind of the biggest disappointing thing is that, like, for a show that's supposed we to come with all the Nintendo yeah. games, like, we saw so few of them. Like, the big thing was they did a crossover with Link and Zelda, yeah. and it's like, shouldn't they be, like, crossing paths all the time? <laughs> oh, no, we were just waiting for the Mario and Zelda episodes. Because the other one's like, they didn't even make it to... Fucking Simon Belmont, that still pisses me off to this day. Simon Belmont is a great character, and I don't know who decided to to give him goggles and put him in a launch pad McQuack jacket. <laughs> Although there's something here. Oh, I'm so vain, I no, guess. Years later, I did kind of say to myself, because they're obviously, like, they're doing almost like a gay stereotype of the 80s. I think to myself, it's like, you know, oh, what, you mean this guy, you know, from this game who had long hair, wears leather, carries a whip, and has a short skirt? You know this is starting to fall in the play. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if it was something where they're just like, well, we can't draw him like he should look like, because then people will think they're watching Masters of the Universe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Leather skirt, bare-chested, whip. Yeah, so maybe that was just... Like, may, may, maybe they just saw what he looked like in the picture, it's like, and they were just doing it as a joke. Oh, I wonder what, like, they looked at Simon's Quest, you know, Castlevania 2, which, oh, what if this guy sells so like, oh, hello, I'm gonna whip you, and they're like, let's just make that the character, like, almost did. I just can't... Joke. Gay or not, I can't see him sounding, the original one sounding no, like that. No, 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 no. I mean, but like I said, I think that was like... Like, I would imagine he would sound that. more like He-Man. <laughs> I, and not the, not the fabulous secret power of one. <laughs> I imagine he would have like a cool badass voice, you know, like, yeah, and stuff like that. I don't know. Simon yeah, Belmont, you know, but because Castlevania he, he was felt like a badass. That was my games. series. I loved those games yeah, on the NES were, and Super Castlevania cool. 4, one of the best Super That's Nintendo amazing. games. Yeah. Still um, amazing. Still holds up today. Oh, it still holds up. Still Castlevania so 3, still difficult as fuck. Um, but it's still but, a great game. Yeah. Two, two I hate. I can't stand two. Two's, well, that was the whole Nintendo sequel curse where every immediate every sequel, sequel be totally was different. completely different. You had Zelda 2, Mario 2, yeah, Castlevania yeah. 2 were all weird. They were also insanely long. Yeah. <laughs> Except for, well, Super Mario Brothers 2 wasn't that long, but Zelda 2, holy shit. Yeah. Um, I like Zelda 2, though, honestly. I got a soft spot. And um, we should probably talk about the show. Yeah. Um, oh, I like Zelda 2 as well. <laughs> talk about the show, David. Uh, I, I will say this in the opening for years when the kids getting sucked into the TV and you see that green thing come to the TV going, whoa, like that. I never knew what that was. I always thought like something Kevin, was coming out I to grab I thought I told him. you to clean your room. Yeah, where, where the hell's the mother in all this? It's just like, oh my God, where'd he go? Just, there's my son's been abducted. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but yeah, only years later did I realize like, oh, that thing sucked to the TV. I never knew what the fuck that was. Because <laughs> he doesn't look it, like that throughout the rest of the show. He looks like a cartoon I, character. Why does Mega Man have that voice? There's just so he doesn't look like Mega it's Man. It's very but annoying. No, again, a Mega he, Man, another uh, character I love. They basically just butchered most of the characters I love. No, but again, to be fair, like even the cover of the Mega Man games never looked like Mega Man. It's it's really making the Super Mario Brothers Super Show version of Legend of Zelda look pretty solid. <laughs> or even the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. <laughs> yeah, um, um, but uh, yeah, Princess What's Her Face. It should have been like Earthworm Jim. They just call her Princess What's Her Name. Yeah, what what game was she from again? They just made one up. I think I they guess. just I think they just made it up. Yeah. I don't remember what game she was supposed to be from. They could have just love they could have like just done Zelda or could have been Princess Peach or whatever, but. It was also that kind of like 1990 had to have that sci-fi quality. Well, to she it, was still so. dressed like the 80s, like big time. Yeah. Um, 
Well, there was, we forget, there was bleed over. I've seen, like, looking back oh, at like stuff they, from 1993, decade, yeah. all the way into about 93, the 80s were still dying a very slow death. Yeah, well, no, even the early 80s, you can see the 70s slowly dying and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, this was, I don't know, I don't hear anyone getting, like, Something about the 80s and, like, the 90s, particularly early 90s and stuff, I think there's something, it's a little bit more forgivable, I think, not just for our age, but because it was just so far removed and so goofy, it was almost fascinating. Comical. Yeah, yeah it, fascinatingly comical that you just had to laugh. Like, it's just so not representing well, like the source super, material It's like the Super all. Mario Brothers movie. It's just, like, it's a terrible representation of Mario and, and the, the universe that Mario inhabits, and yet I still am fascinated by it, because I'm just like, what were you smoking when you came up with this, like, this weird post-apocalyptic sci-fi universe, you know, with the fungus everywhere, and it, it's the same thing here, it's just like, I, I'm not gonna say it's good, but it is very weird, like, the, there was kind of like the 70s and the 80s, like, there was kind of this psychedelic quality to everything where it's like well we're gonna do this only we're gonna change everything and i was gonna have a sci-fi bent and and mother brain's gonna have this crazy voice <laughs> now maybe there's something too i think like because back then there was just this big thing like do not try anything away from the formula or the norm or anything so it's like well we gotta make something out of this you know video game we gotta make a show out of it so maybe it's like well okay do it and then just conform it to all these things that we have tested and saw have worked really yeah, transformers the, is popular and stuff like that trying to make only, it look and sound the like only that. two video game ones that stayed true to their source i think is the uh the super mario brother one like because that was pretty much okay there's wait, 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 wait. they always change every episode was like now they're doing a parody of star wars now they're doing a parody of dracula now they're doing a parody of mad max like they always change it up and it was it was no, a different no, no, world the, every time. No, 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 the, the later ones. The ones oh, that were like, like three and four. Super yeah, Super Mario that, that 3 or Super Mario. Yeah. And um, the Sonic Saturday Morning, I thought was actually pretty... I'm like, okay, like, this is adapted, but this is actually pretty yeah, close it's, to... It's I would recognize good. this basically as Sonic, just done really seriously. Um, so, yeah, those are the only two, but everything else was just off the fucking walls. Like, yeah, just I think it was just the animators stuff. and the writers just totally token up like, in a closet somewhere, coming out with the munchies and being like, All right! Let's do this! <laughs> I don't know we're going to put out there, but it's going to be fucking weird! Hey, um, I'm over there! <laughs> um, He's going to like chili dogs, just like I do! After I'm... Uh, so well i think i think too they always say like comedy is tragedy plus time and, and i think there is something to be said about like just looking back like when batman robin came out i was so pissed off i was just so angry but now that we've gotten the better batmans that have come out all these different versions it's like okay now i can look back i can really have a good laugh at we that. can laugh yeah i can really have a good laugh at it um you know so and i think doing that and having that experience suddenly like when i see science really bad I can sort of, even though it's fun to get emotional and passionate about it and stuff like that, it's like, I can take that step back and still, no, no, this this is just a movie and it's a representation of something already silly. Um, it's just the, the video game worlds and the plots in this show, well, A, they didn't make any sense, but I, I just, I remember watching as a kid and at some point I felt like I was watching more out of obligation because it was Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, like. And, and I'm just like, I'm like, I'm not sure I even like this. But I feel like I have to watch it. Yeah, like, I gotta support Nintendo. I just, I gotta. I, you know, Nintendo really did rule the world, like the Wizard kind of showed. But and I feel, I, I, yeah, my how, my how things have changed. <laughs> things like Sony and Xbox. And yeah. So, I, I don't know. I feel like, once again, like the Super Mario Brothers movie, this could have just written itself. And yet, it, it's... For whatever reason, they made these weird changes. They made all these weird changes. Uh, the, oh, I love how there's a Punch-Out character in there. It would have been more funny, King though, if it, was, if Mike, it was Mike Tyson. <laughs> it was Mike Tyson. I would have killed if they replaced King of Info with Mike Tyson. I kept it in the game. I can't even do it. Like, can you do a Mike Tyson? Uh, they talk a little bit like that. Yeah. <laughs> just, um, I just, just showing up like that and then kicking, <laughs> kicking the kid's point. ass. <laughs> um, but no, the... Uh, Grant, I'm going to have to make orphans and a widow out of his wife and children. <laughs> but no, what, oh. what shocked me is that, okay, you have Mother Brain. Who okay. should be badass. I'm like, that's a I, cool I, idea. Honestly, Brain in a giant Okay, jar. no, no, you have... The, you have Metroid, you have 
Samus. You have this. You no, know, Sam, that's it. You, have, you have, have these cool characters. That's like okay, you have to pick one of these characters to make a character in the game. You know, Lane picked just the the brain. static. The, the brain, brain that sits there and doesn't do anything because there's a lot of potential for character there. So then they pick him and they're like, well, what the fuck do we do with this? Well, it's gotta be for kids. It can't be too creepy. So just make him like this. My brain is gonna get yeah. you a little bit. Oh, it's gonna get you now. Uh, Hilarious to listen to, though. I mean, that was yeah, like no, I really did crash show again. <laughs> um, but here's the thing: you have Mother Brain, but no Samus. Yeah. What? Why? Why couldn't you get Samus in that? Though maybe, maybe that is for the best. Well, first of oh, all, because you know, after they butchered everyone else. No, chances are they put Samus in the show and then they make it a guy, like not knowing it was a woman. Like, oh shit, we fucked this up. Oh, <laughs> they didn't get anything else about the characters right. Yeah. Um, oh, that could that could have happened. Yeah, you know like it was a woman if you played the game. But then again, I'm not convinced anybody played the game. Yeah, and you have to play it to the end anyway. And they're just like, oh, whatever. It's like they got nothing else right. They just sort of looked at the game and said, okay, let's kind of do it like this, whatever. So I bet you it's, they did Samus. It's, it's, it's like every character. It's like every character in the world. They basically read page one of the instruction book and then threw it behind them and said, "Fuck it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just so, make shit up. They'll watch it. Yeah, they were right. We did. <laughs> it's strangely mesmerizing to watch. Um, the <laughs> the animation's not that great. Like no. it's one of those things where like it did not age well. And like the nostalgia <laughs> it factor for me, dated the day it came out. <laughs> the nostalgia factor for me was great watching it as an adult, but objectively speaking, I'm like. Yeah, this, I remember this being way better in my head, and even in my head I was like, yeah, I remember oftentimes just watching and going, what the hell did they do with these characters, so. Well, even the co the corporate shilling in it, the one where Game Boy enters the world. Oh my god, the, mean, the talking like, Game Boy? I mean, the, it's bad enough there's a talking Game Boy, but they build up, this will be our greatest hero, I think you will be this phenomenal entity, and they're just like, yeah. Game Boy. And so I'm like, this is like wizard. Because no one gives a shit about the power pad. And, and even <laughs> yeah, I will love that poor power pad in the corner there. I love the I love the hero one. Shut up, go away. Oh. <laughs> but like, you know, I I'm sorry, I love the power pad. Why been... did that never catch on? Because it was stupid. It was fucking great. It was stupid. And we got a good workout with that too. You had to run so fucking no, bad. You did. No, not after we figured out cheat. you can use yeah. your hands. No, that's true. Maybe and we figured that out about I don't know what. Two weeks after we yeah, got Yeah, true. That is kind of true. No, um, it would have been funnier if they were playing up as the big hero was Virtual Boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out in gray in the years, like, Virtual Boy, you will save us all. You will enjoy the many colors of red. <laughs> Paint um, the skies crimson red. Um... But, yeah, and then even when Game Boy shows up, he doesn't do anything, and he's like a goof-up and stuff like that, and, like, he never redeems himself. I was like, why was this a great hero? They never explained it. Um, uh, if, if you were born after 98 or something, by the way, look up Virtual Boy, and then just have a oh, good, no, no, I, I think, good fucking laugh. I think because of James Rolfe and all the other, like, it's it sort of a... It well, that's good, me, because you know? we must never forget. <laughs> we must never forget. No, it was, um... Quite, everyone oh, looked sweet. at it in the game so, store, so tried I can, it, said, nah. So I can strain my neck, burn my retinas, and get a splitting headache? Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, uh... What the hell else can you say? I don't know. Man. I'm regretting picking this one because I'm just like, yeah, it really was a pretty shallow show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is stupid, and it's, it's fun in its pure naivete in how it's trying to sell its products. It everything. is very, it is a time capsule. It's very much a product of its time. So yeah. you want to understand the fucked up world where we came from. It's kind of like Nintendo's Transformers. This is clearly just selling you, you know, these toys and everything. But it's with Nintendo, so we liked it a little bit more. But honestly, the funny thing is... I think Transformers is, was a better cartoon, no, though. No, no, yeah, I, I, not only that, but... Looking back, honestly, I could have used even more selling. I could have used even more Nintendo. In it because everything looks so that's different. That's what bothered me. Like that's the thing about the wizard. The best yeah. parts of the wizard I loved as a kid were when they were playing Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, 3. it wasn't actually enough Nintendo. If you're gonna go yeah. total corporate sellout, fine, totally. but give us the product to sell uh, or products, I should say. Um, so yeah, there it is. Uh, pretty silly, pretty stupid, but um, it, it still makes me laugh. I, I still look like no, to look back. I kind of it's funny. Fond memories. It's funny. Uh, so. Yeah, that's about it. We'll see you at the next Real Thoughts. Later. But Princess, it's under siege! Oh!